Hi everyone, I just wanted to send you an update from Cape Town to share uh, what God's doing through the Message Trust uh, here as we continue to serve uh, during lockdown. I think one of the things we, we really learned last year was that uh, we shouldn't be focusing on the things we can't do, but rather we should be seeking God for the things we can continue to do to help fulfill our, mi our mission and our calling, uh, even in this season. And I've been so proud of my team, even uh, under lockdown conditions with many people working remotely, of how we've continued to seek God and to find innovative ways to fulfill the vision we have to raise up generations of urban heroes across the city um, of Cape Town. Recently, we evaluated where we are at and how we are continuing to serve during lockdown and we came up with four priority areas for us uh, at this time and I just really wanted to share with you uh, these four priority areas for us here as message you can pray with us and stand with us uh, as we continue to serve here. The first priority area was to create opportunities for income generation and to address the challenge of food scarcity. We know that uh, employment and uh, food distribution has been a real big challenge uh, that has been magnified during the COVID uh, time. Uh, you'll obviously be aware of our Gangstar Cafe and that we have a em whole employment system for ex-offenders to become baristas uh, and work have their first work experience within Gangstar Cafe. Well, we've been continuing that. Even though our cafe has been tough, they've remained open. In fact, we've even opened a new cafe space in Philippi. So we're still able to keep on employing ex-offenders and have a pipeline through our Barista Academy um, that we developed last year um, of new potential employees. Uh, so that's one way we're continuing to serve uh, and, and create employment opportunities. But some new ways have also emerged. Uh, last year, uh, through a partnership with an organization called Work for a Living, we're now working towards our community hubs, being able to provide em uh, employment training, uh, job readiness training, alongside discipleship uh, to help young people uh, enter uh, the job market. Uh, so we're really excited that, that, that we're positioned uh, to serve uh, in this way. Additionally, in this surprise, all of us uh, last year, our Oaks Halfway Home uh, started an urban farming project and we're even beginning to expand that now through some of our church partners uh, to be able to grow food uh, in communities uh, and, and help um, provide for families um, in need. So that's the first way uh, that we're continuing to serve. The second uh, is that we're looking for creative ways to still engage young people uh, with the gospel. This is our bread and butter to provide young people with a message of hope in language that they can understand. And obviously with schools closed and with prisons closed, it's, it's presented some challenges, but we've been working out how to get around those challenges. We've been doing online uh, uh, outreaches. In fact, High Alive, our second season of High Alive is going out in the first week of March. Uh, and we're working with youth pastors and youth groups across the city to get this material, relevant music, uh, relevant speakers speaking on topics that engage young people from the Bible. Uh, we're, we're, we're sending that out to, to young people um, across the city. Additionally, we've been sending digital content uh, into prisons to engage our young offenders uh, in prisons as well and to continue to contact uh, with them. And many of our team have continued to work with young people uh, remotely by engaging them with WhatsApp groups um, and seeking to continue to serve our beneficiaries uh, in that way. And now uh, we're also beginning to uh, um, have some activities uh, through the creative arts uh, and through our community hubs that can engage young people directly as well. So we're so excited to still be working and raising up these transformation leaders and communities uh, across Cape Town. The third area of focus we've had um, has been to provide support to those who are suffering and struggling during this time. Uh, you may have seen that recently we launched a video series called Grief and Grace, where I share lessons from my own experience of loss uh, and going through a hard time in order to help people find courage and hope even when they're facing such a difficult time as we're all experiencing during COVID. The series is online and if you haven't seen it, please go and look at the Grief and Grace video series. You can contact us uh, for more information. Additionally, we've been connecting with local churches and church leaders to find out how we can pray and stand with them in prayer. Uh, it's been a tough time for church leaders, so we're seeking to encourage them, encourage them and strengthen them uh, through prayer support. And we've also been seeking to continue to support 
our own message families. Uh, we've had uh, uh, spouses of some of our employees lose work. Uh, we've had some of our own team lose loved ones to COVID. Uh, and so it's been a time of really seeking to care for one another. Uh, and I've been so thrilled by how our team has unified uh, and supported one another uh, over the past uh, year or so. Finally, we're preparing for growth. Our fourth priority is to look for future growth opportunities. We believe God still has a prophetic role for us um, in the city. And so we're preparing, we're preparing uh, stories of transformation uh, to be able to share uh, what God is doing again more broadly and provide uh, encouragement uh, to people um, across Cape Town. Uh, we're preparing internal structures and we're preparing new resources uh, and new, uh, uh, to be able to reach young people and to get ourselves ready for when we can engage in schools, when we can be back in prison, when we can run events. So we're writing new material, new curriculum, uh, our creative teams are working on new music uh, and all of this will, will provide us uh, with resources so that we can continue to expand uh, and, and grow our impact across the city of Cape Town. So I hope you're encouraged to hear some of what God's doing. Uh, and uh, we, we're, we're so thrilled uh, with, the, with the partnership and support we've received. God has really been providing for us uh, in this season. And so we want to serve effectively um, in these days. So please pray for us. Um, and we also pray for you. We pray for our partners regularly, our prayer supporters. Uh, and, and we trust that through this time, we will still continue to see uh, God at work in the lives of tens of thousands of young people. Thank you so much.